black and tan coon hound is a tireless, determined working dog, prized for his unequaled tracking abilities. Once put to a scent, the black and tan will follow it for as long as it takes to tree his quarry. The black and tan's distinguished ancestry goes all the way back to the so-called Talbot Hound, used by English royalty for the hunt as early as the 11th century. The breed's more immediate forebears include the Bloodhound and the Foxhound, both English and American. It is also thought that the Grand Bleu de Gascon and related breeds from France were a factor in the breed's formation. By 1900, the black and tan was being used in American hunts, not only for raccoon, but for deer, mountain lion, and even bear. He began appearing in American show rings fairly early in the century and was admitted to AKC registration in 1945. You'll be seeing many black and tan coon hounds during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed. Others are less so, but all will help your understanding of the breed. Always remember, as you judge the black and tan, that this is first and foremost a working dog, a trail and tree hound, capable of withstanding any sort of weather or terrain. Any individual trait or characteristic that detracts from this function is not typical of the breed and should be penalized. The general impression should be that of power, agility, and alertness. The black and tan's temperament is outgoing and friendly. He's an eager and aggressive hunter, and he should demonstrate the ability to cover ground with powerful, rhythmic strides. The black and tan coon hound is measured from point of shoulder to buttocks and from withers to ground. The black and tan should be equal in height to length ratio or slightly longer than he is tall. Dogs stand 25 to 27 inches at the withers. Bitches, 23 to 25 inches. Dogs above 27 inches and bitches above 25 inches who maintain balance and soundness should not be penalized. Weight will be in proportion to overall substance and balance. Considering their job as a hunting dog, the individual should exhibit moderate bone and good muscle tone. Males are heavier in bone and muscle tone than females. Oversized dogs should not be penalized as long as general soundness and proportion are correct. Undersized dogs, however, are to be penalized. 